equity. APC crisis deepens as national leadership wades in to Dow's fire. Peace has once again eluded the equity chapter of the All Progressive Congress APC. The party that managed its protracted crisis to win the July 14, 2018 governorship polls has fallen into bad times again. Efforts to resolve the crisis have largely remained unsuccessful almost two years into the tenure of Governor Kayode Fayomi, who assumed office in October 16, 2018. The crisis, which reared its ugly head during March 26, 2018 governorship primary election, where Fayomi emerged as a candidate, has snowballed into a cold war that has now produced a major opposition tendency at the party. For the likes of special advisor to the President on Politics Matter, Mr. Baba Femi Ojudu, Dr. Wale Oluyede, the son-in-law of Bola Tinubu, Honorable Oyetunde Ojo, who married the first daughter of Tinubu, Honorable Bimbo Daramola, and Prince Adedayo Adeyeye, amongst others, the party must restructure or self-destruct. The battle for the soul of Ekiti APC between Fayemi's camp and Ojudu's group has led to the suspension and counter-suspension. The various tendencies in the party appear to have shifted their side to the 2022 governorship pool with the knowledge that whoever owns the party structure will produce the governorship candidate. The Ojodu and Tony Adeneyi-led group of stakeholders started the agitation and struggle early enough for the party to either listen to them or they get what they want through litigation. Their reactions have been followed by a feeling of being tactically ostracized from the party in the state. They are angered by the fact that Fayemi did not patronize them or solicit their input in the appointment of his cabinet. The governor ensured that only his trusted allies, fondly called Kofi Fayemi's political family, Fayemi's Tokan Tokan, and a handful of those aggrieved aspirants who accepted his peace overtures were given appointments. Ojodu and other leaders are currently challenging the legality of the ruling party executive members at the state, local government, and ward levels. The suit seeking to obtain the structures was filed at the Federal High Court sitting in Abuja by Senator Baba Femi Ojodu, Dr. Wale Oluyede, Honorable Oyetunde Ojo, Chief Akin Akomola Fair, Engineer Ayo Ajibade, Akogun Bumi, Ogunleye Otumba, Ben Oguti C and others against APC, the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC, Inspector General of Police, State Chairman of the Party, Mr. Paul Omotosho, and all members of the State Executive Committee. The plaintiffs allege that the ruling party did not conduct ward, local government, and state congress in Ekiti State, and that they were handpicked by Governor Fayemi. They are praying the court to declare the process that produced the party's executive at the three levels null and void. To get the attention of the national leadership of the seemingly intractable crisis rocking the party, Ojodu and 14 others in a letter to the party leadership in June this year called on the Governor Maimala Bruni led Ketika Committee of the party to call Governor Fayemi to order over alleged dictatorship. They accuse Fayemi of influencing party executives to alienate and victimize critics of his government through illegal suspension and alienation from the party's activity. The concerned leaders also express their fears that the party might suffer defeat in the next governorship election in 2022 with the existing cleavages and underperformances of the Fayemi-led government. Other prominent APC leaders that signed the statement were Senator Tony Adeneyi, former House of Representative member Oyutunde Ojo, Bimbo Daramola, and Robinson Ajiboye, as well as former State Assembly Speaker Honorable Adewale Omiri. In the statement entitled Time to Take a Stand, the leadership applauded President Mohamed Buhari for spearheading the dissolution of the National Working Committee and the inauguration of the Governor Bernie Keteka Committee to bring some calm into the party. They listed Senators Adeniyi and Ojodu, Daramola Ojo, Bumi Ogunleye, Ben Ogutuashe, Dele Afolabi, and Diran Fadikpe as among those that had either been unjustly suspended 
or at various stages of suspension in their respective words. They said this development has informed the need to bring to the attention of the newly constituted committee our concern about the unfortunate drift of our party in Ekiti State. Prior to now, we have communicated the situation effectively to the dissolved National Working Committee. As this new body sets about resetting the future of our party, it has become imperative to acquaint the leadership with development in Ekiti State. This time has come to bring to the fore the development in the state and the political realities in our party. The leadership stated that the victory they recorded in Ekiti 2018 governorship election was not solely through the governor's effort, rather by all party people who worked hard to secure victory. They advocated the dissolution of state executive across all strata, saying the lists were allegedly compiled through undemocratic means by the Minister of Trade, Industry and Investment, Otumba Nii Adebayo, and Governor Fayemi. According to Ajayi, they were only engaging the blackmail because they knew that those suspended took the party to court and it is expulsion if the law is to be followed to the letter. We enjoy the freedom to run the party without Governor Fayemi's interference, but it is said that Senators Ojodu Adeneyi, Adeyeye, Honorable Ojo and Daramola, who were abusing Fayemi, allowed their victories to the governor's support. They should re-examine themselves and see where they got it wrong. Let them tell us one word where Governor Fayemi's tail guide the executive to suspend anyone. These are mere blackmail. As part of efforts to find lasting peace, a stakeholder meeting comprising leaders of the party across the 16 local government areas was held with Governor Fayemi in attendance. However, the aggrieved leaders were absent from the meeting, which would have provided an opportunity for the aggrieved members to express their misgiving and put their demands forward. Another troubleshooting effort made to end the crisis and bring aggrieved members on board was the setting up of a reconciliation committee headed by the former state chairman of the APC, Chief Jide Awe. It is, however, doubtful if it was succeeded in its assignment. A political observer said that though the Nigerian constitution guarantees freedom of expression, which includes freedom to disagree with the majority, there must be party discipline. According to him, if the agitation of members, including litigation, were left unchecked, the end of such a political party becomes predictable. Ojo Adeyemi reminded that, but for the intervention of President Mohamed Buhari and some concerned members of the party who applied the doctrine of necessity by sacking Adam Soshomole's National Working Committee and directing members to withdraw their cases in court, court cases by agreed members are capable of putting the party in jeopardy ahead of the 2023 general election. He said as party men, aggrieved members ought to explore all the organ of redress within the party and could only proceed to get justice when justice cannot be served by the relevant organs of the party. Worried that the highest decision-making body of APC, which is the National Executive Committee, NEC, had since May directed that all members having court cases should withdraw them to give room for internal dispute resolution mechanism, the national leadership of the party had written a letter to the state chairman, Paul Omoteso, mandating the SWC to commence the process of suspension of erring members. The letter, dated September 7, 2020, and signed by the National Working Committee's head of legal department, Mr. Dare Aketade, an address to the state chairman, Omotoso, mandated the SWC to commence the progress of trial for perceived adamant members who are perceived to be disobedient by having pending cases in the court, despite next clear order. The letter said the leadership of the party has decided to invoke the provisions of Article 21 of the party's constitution against members of the party who have flouted the directives of NEC. Wow, guys, we can see that all of this is definitely connected to 2023. APC crisis not um, going anytime soon. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think down below in the comment section. Thank you once again. Please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, do give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well. Till I come your way again, bye for now and God bless.